So, hello guys, welcome back to Digimon Master Online. And um, we have here in this episode, I'm gonna to talk about the birth mode and the evolutor and how to get evolutors and what to do with your birth mode. As you can see, guys, there's a, a lot of Digimons besides the main Digimon uh, who needs a birth mode and those burst mode quests are not of, uh, are not available. Uh, the, the the quests that are available are just the Jogress quest and the first main character burst mode quest. Meanwhile, the other Digimons uh, need stuff to get uh, to get it. You can get the stuff uh, from players by uh, buying it by in Terras, or you can get it from the shop. Uh, and evolutors are very necessary. Evolutors are really necessary to get you a couple of stuff. Like here, guys. Uh, for example, I'm going to show you for the lightning. I'm taking for example, and if you press X or if you clicked here in D and went to this small arrow. You will see here uh, the Digimon and the stats used for every time you evolve this Digimon for Champion and Mega, uh, Ultimate and me uh, Mega and then the Burst Mode. Uh, as you can see guys, a Burst Mode uh, for the other Digimon uh, needs stuff like as you can see. Here is required uh, Gungnir, one item. And open level in uh, uh, 65. So the 65. So the Digimon must be in 65 and more. I'm going to take the other one and show you guys how. I have here the burst mode already done with the uh, Phenomen uh, Spear, with Holy Spear, sorry. And I get it. Uh, and uh, as you can see, I get an accelerators. Accessibility are really important. We have for you uh, the not main Digimons, and the, as you can see, guys, those are the accessibilities, and you can get it from Digimons when you are fighting them, or you can get it from uh, um, you can get it from a place from quests where you have done the, your main burst mode quest. Anyway, guys, I'm going there and I'm going to show you. Where you can do your main quest, but first uh, let me. Um, for example, I have here the angel ring, and angel ring are required for Lupumon, and I have already Lupumon, but I need the angel ring to be used. So um, now I'm going to show you guys an infinity ice wall. You should go there in the glacier area and you should go to infinity ice wall but I would recommend to pick a strong digital if you so you don't have any problems in there so now we're going to go to infinity ice wall in infinity ice wall uh, there is Two quests. One of them are daily, and the other one is main. Uh, you can pick the, the both of quests from the same Digimon. If you pick the daily quests from him after you finishing your main, your main, uh, your main evolution, your main burst mode for your main Digimon. Uh, your main Digimons, as you know, guys, those are the Digimons that first time you picked, and the first Digimon that you have started the journey with like me I have Agumon not the classic one, the, another one so uh, as you can see guys uh, this this dude in here is not available in map you won't find him but he's in here in these places you won't find him in map but uh, as you can see if you come to here here you go as you can see guys, this guy, for example, I'm going to show you, he will give you uh, about 20 accessibilities 
and this, those are dailies but for the main quest you will come to here and he will give you a couple of quests like for example defeating Digimons I'm going to show you guys here how to get the accessory level and the accessory level that gives you are really important for leveling up the Digimon or the first mod you have the first mod stuff if you don't have the accessory level your Digimon can't access to his burst mode. He won't access to his burst mode. Like for example, guys. Uh, by the way, those Digimon are really da dangerous, so we should be level uh, 74 or more because they are aggressive Digimons too. They all attack you first, so you have to be careful. And they have really high attack speed, and uh, they really make they really make a damage when they attack you, so you should be careful to get around. You okay right now? So I am I'm doing this quest uh, daily, and I can just get an accelerator, and this accelerator, as I told you guys, are all really important. This one uh, has no connection with what we are doing, but we have. Uh, as you can see, his daily quest. So, and uh, as you can see, he's from even So, I should to get him. As you can see, guys, uh, there. Here, how how to get your uh, burst mod for the main Digimon. For your main Digimon, as I said, and just to make sure, guys, uh, that. Uh, you get what I said like for your main Digimon as you can as you have seen here there was a guy in there with his main Digimon so uh, he should do the quest maybe he can and uh, you can do the quest easier if you are in party or if you have a stronger player with you and uh, you do this quest with you so you can easily do it, but if you don't have anyone who wanted to do it alone, so it's gonna be really hard to do it. Like I said, I I died about more than five times because uh, my Digimon to be destroyed. As I can you see, guys, here there's a number. I just all the rage for the rage to die. What do I mean by rage? Like, I mean uh, if you take this those numbers from Digimon uh, the main Digimon that I'm looking for here he will show up and those in burst mode are as, uh, as I told you guys in burst mode quest they are really repeatable to do like he's telling you to go to Dark Tower or to go to uh, another places and go here and go there and defeat too much Digimon to get your burst mode and for your main Digimon, as I said, for the four, the four main Digimon, Lanamon and uh, Agumon, Gumamon and Gamomon, uh, and Falcomon. Uh, you know, and the other Digimon that you have hatched, you won't get their first mode. Because they need stuff, and those stuff you can buy it from shop. Oh, here we go. As you can see, guys, they showed up. They are available in, in cash shop, or you can buy it from another player who is care of. And as I told you guys, you need here a really strong Digimon to complete the quests. Now we need a skull. Uh, we need now skull driver. Okay, just let me get give it a moment for me. Because it's the event, and as I made a video before for event, but it was too parted because the video was really big and it take too long to upload it, so I made it two parts. And now we're going guys to scan Raymond. If you lost your way, just click and here you go, you'll find it.
Meanwhile, other stuff like those, you can't click on them, but you have to read the quest to know where the Digimon are. Or you have to look around sometimes, like as you can see, Siakumon is nearly in the places. You will find it. You don't need to. Um, you have to look in another town. Channel. I think we should uh, kill some skull primon to make the one that we want to be available. So I think we should do it. Okay. By the way, guys, as you can see, I reached uh, the Tamer level 70, so now I can do the Jokeris stuff. The Jokeris uh, mission. I reached actually Gabumon. I'm sorry I have done it before because and I didn't make a video about it uh, because my channel was late to be launched. So that's why the, the stream is open. But uh, starting from uh, Gabumon 3, from Gabumon Omega One Quest, uh, we will keep going with that. I, I, I have already done Agumon and now we have to go to start with Dabumon and to start with Durumon because Riordemon has already been done and Riordemon quests are easy to do they are really easy to do and they have done already our Medirimon quest for Shakumon so I should make a video about it but as I told you guys I have done this stuff before I have launched this channel and before I have done these videos about it, so I'm really sorry about this thing, but well, I'm going to complete the other quest as I told you guys. So uh, now we are packing the Digimons until the Digimon that we want appear. It's like uh, making stress or like pushing on these Digimons. We need this Digimon to complete our quest and in many quests too. Oh, here we go. We need 10 now. Okay, got it. And in your first mod quest, you will have to do those stuff too. Because, uh, as I told you guys, you need uh, to do this thing until the main Digimon show up. So, it's gonna be uh, okay for you. But as I told you guys, in the Digimon, you need to show Digimon in order to not to die, you need to do those stuff in party. I have done it solo, but I had a strong Digimon with me, because the main Digimon is the same, Agumon. But I just beat him up more and don't him more, so he become more stronger. And I'm going to make an episode about cloning and Digiforce and other stuff are coming on way. But now guys, as you can see... Because actually the view are really not too much. So uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep going with this or not. Because the views are really 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 low like I have seen the uh, video that I have done they only got two views and I don't know it's really not too much views I go so close to get him to one and just need one and, uh, Now 
Now, after finishing the quest, we are going to our bunch of you now. Oh. Hey man, so you have to be careful from this little you guys, because as you can see, I get here around 20 accessibilities. And accessibility are really important to get to the burst mode. As you can see, it's burst mode. After you opening it, you will need accessibility. And I showed you guys where to get the accessibility. And uh, the other way to get accessibility, if you can do those quests, the other way to do accessibility is just to. Um, don't want to do this quest and you have problem about doing this quest or it's too hard for you to get it or you didn't done it before so the, the easiest way to get an accessibility is by um, having a button with normal Digimons and they drop accessibility and other stuff like seal exchange ticket or uh, attributes for the uh, for merge or sometimes they drop uh, uh, summon cards oh, so that's how to get the stuff but as I told you guys uh, you have to do those things in order to get accessibility and as I told you guys accessibility are really important for burst mod for the other Digimon not for your main Digimon your main Digimon won't need it your main Digimon can access uh, to the burst mod easily you don't need any burst mod but for your another Digimon, as, I, as you can see guys, uh, this main Digimon doesn't need burst mode. You know, this Digimon needs uh, Joker's chip. Joker's chip can be installed in uh, your Digivice. And there's offers too for, the, for Joker's chip one day or 30 days. Or there's too much... Uh, Stuff about the jungle's chip that we're going to talk about it later. So, we really missed anything, but I hope you guys make more views for the videos so I can make more and more. But if the views are too low, maybe I won't complete these uh, videos. As you can see, guys, this is the Joker's Digimon. I'm going to talk about Joker's Digimon and other stuff later. Because in this episode, I just want to I just wanted to show you guys where to get uh, accessibilities and where to get your burst mode stuff. And uh, before I finish the video, I want to show you guys. Uh, I showed you what Digimon need for burst mode, but now I'm going to show you guys. Uh, Vision shop. If you don't want to buy it by Terra, you just go to Digimon and Evolution. You will find here the most good stuff. And as you can see, guys, they are priced with dollars, so it's depending on you if you want to buy it or not. And as you can see, guys, there's a Evolutor too. There's an Evolutor, so you can get an Evolutor from here. If you don't find any, but the Evolutors are really cheap, so can buy evolutors because they are maximum, maximum, maximum price of uh, 35 mega each. The, this is the maximum price for the evolutor. So you won't be really scammed by other people because the maximum price for evolutors uh, are 35. So they are not that much, but. No, it's really complicated and now uh, as you can see guys there's too much players around so I'm just going to close it in the way. Okay, that's your new task to do but let me just get around here Tamer skill as you can see guys this Tamer skill uh, you can add it in here Tamer skill, you can add it in device and you can put your Tamer skill. This is besides the main skill that you have in here. For every Tamer has its own main skill, so it's not. Uh, okay. 
as you can see, we got here uh, no offense. So as you can see, uh, all the danger actually I haven't done it yet because I have already reached level 70 as you can see guys. I'm, I'm not uh, that old by level 70. So uh, as I told you guys, uh, we will talk about other stuff later in the videos. So now we have just talked about other stuff. And uh, as you can see guys, evoluters are 30, you can buy how much you want, as I told you guys, there is no evoluter more than 35, so don't uh, get scammed by other people or something, so just uh, to tell you guys about it, like this, uh, these are digivolution, but uh, it's not burst mode, uh, the burst mode uh, are uh, for other stuff, like uh, let me see with me here uh, okay guys here are the Digi uh, digivolution every digimons main uh, digimons have digivolution or normal uh, evolution or normal burst mode this is the burst mode the ultimate form for him and uh, beside digivolution or like for example for vmon he need the warm digi egg of sincerely or warm digi egg of friendship uh, meanwhile, there are another Digimons like uh, Agumon and Gabumon. Agumon need, uh, I think he need the uh, Megamon Sword or Mega Sword. He need something like his sword. Maybe we can see it later. And Gabumon need uh, this cannon. It's uh, not really necessary, but if you want to, to buy it, you can take it. But the main thing and the most necessary thing is the burst mode. So burst mode is really important, and jogress are really important too. And that's how it's going. And puff, puffs are you can use it. You can use buffs in dungeon or in hard. Uh, what I want to think. You got what D is. It's really not uh, self necessary. Um, um, it's really not that necessary. I don't use it even because it's uh, really not necessary for me. I don't have the Jogress, uh, sorry, I don't have the Digi Aura, so. And I don't use it too much because my DS is already enough, so I don't need. So I don't have to use it, so I don't need it anymore. Okay guys, uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, episode, and see you later.